Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My camera is charged. We got a little bit longer video. This is going to be the Wednesday video, but it will be um, its own video just because we have kind of a lot to cover here and we have a little bit of an opening. So um, the first thing I did was I bought this uh, collection, small collection. Um, I paid $150 for it. I know I'm going to have to kind of like pull the cards up so you can see, but um, notable ones. These are... That's a super rare uh, from Flaming Eternity. That's the super rare as well. Uh, Chaos Command Magician, really cool. That's a first edition Tyrant Dragon. Um, a little bit off center. Of course, uh, Legacy of Darkness has a problem with centering, so it's not surprising that this thing's off center. But, you know, in terms of condition, man, it's actually decent. Um, I think these go for maybe 20 to 25 in near mint condition. We've got a Spellbinding Circle and Negate Attack here. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can reorient some of the stuff. Um, give you guys a better feeling. Sorry for all the dog hair. Um, there's a Negate Attack. Here's a Spellbinding Circle. First edition. A little bit damaged, but not too bad. There's a little bit of a crease on the side there. Um, weird scuffing. There's that crease. Um, came with a lot of classic cards. The guy said he found them in like a storage locker or something. I don't know, one of those. He found a million dollar painting in a storage locker. So there's another super rare pair of this Trap Jammer from Invasion of Chaos, first edition. There's a Barrel Dragon, Faded, Unlimited. Needle Wall, first edition. I know that card's pretty cool. Um, here we go. Here's some more cool cards. There's a Fiend Mega Cyber from Pharaoh Servant, first edition. Not in a sleeve, but very nice. Whoa. Dude, this is really nice. This needs to go in the sleeve. That's in really good condition. Ultra rare, first edition. Don's a Lug, really cool card. Some stuff on the back here, but they're just commons. Nothing too crazy there. There's a uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Y'all know I love that card. Waiting for it to get off the ban list. Um, this one's a little bit more played. This is the original uh, SDD. I forgot what that stands for. Stairway something. Destiny. Who knows. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, we've got a Jinzo. This is a uh, from the tin. So it's going to have the gold stamp, but not say unlimited. It's in, um, looks to be about near mint. Pretty good. Oh, there's another Harpy's Feather Duster. And another Negate Attack. But we're here to see this. That's a Swords of a Reeling Light. I don't know that I've ever owned one from LOB. That's an LOB Swords of a Reeling Light. Um, it's not really gradable. It's like, uh... It's actually a little bit misprinted. It's hard to tell, but it's a little bit misprinted. Um, I'd say it's like near mint. It's a very light play. This is really... This and another card is why I bought this collection. I really just want um, to not have to pay a ton of money. Even though 150 is a lot of money for a collection. But, you know, here's a refated Regeki. It's a limited edition. All right, that's it for that. Uh, I think that's right. Um, we've got um, some other random stuff. This is uh, some Pharaoh Servant uh, unlimited stuff. There's a Dark Necro Fear. Here's a here's a cool card. That's a Solemn Judgment from MRD. Um, this is card is first edition. Looks really nice. It's got this scuffing from coming in and out of sleeves, man. That's what sucks about these cards. So, but uh, again, I don't know that I've ever owned one of these. This is pretty easily a uh, uh, sixty to seventy-five dollar card in its current condition. Not that that condition is going to improve. It could get worse, but that wouldn't be um, beneficial to me. There's a change of heart. He's a cool guy, girl. Um, okay, these look like just commons. This 
some more commons and stuff. I'm sorry if this is just unprofessional. We've got, um, that's a first edition Strike Ninja. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a secret rare Magic Cylinder, and then some supers, uh, you know, Bazoo, uh, Dark Ruler, Hades, Kaiku, and Tribute to the Doom it again. It's got a few of those. And then the, I think that's it for the big cards. You know, uh, Ultra Rare, that's a secret rare right there. There's a uh, Mirror Force, Metal Raiders, and a Pot of Greed from LOB. Really classic cards. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember these cards from back in the day. More Ultras and, and, and stuff. Uh, there's a question. There's a Dark Necrofear from the Master Collection. And all this stuff is original. You know, the, even the Lost Millennium, um, Metal Raiders, Feral Servant, uh, LOB. Alright, I believe this is the, getting close to the last page. This is a Dark Paladin from Duel Master's Guide. Pretty cool card. Um, Graceful Dice, Skilled White Magician, that one's first edition. There's a Gaia. Unfortunately, it's not the misprinted Ultra Rare version. I don't have one of those. Um, I don't really want to buy one, but it'd be cool to just run into one. Um, and then there's a Thousand Dragon. Thousand Dragon, Monster uh, Reincarnation, Elemental Hero stuff. Um, there's the uh, Spell Canceler. It used to be a pretty expensive card before it got reprinted. Um, Dark Magician from Starter Deck. Invader of Darkness, which has like weird foiling on its name. I know you guys can see that. From Invasion of Chaos. Um, and I believe this is the last page. Oh, cool! There's a Catapult Turtle. Catapult Turtle, first edition. I didn't see that before when I was looking at this stuff. Well, that's pretty nice. It's kind of got a... A little bit of a bend on this corner here, but cool, man. First edition Catapult Turtle. That's pretty cool. Um, nothing much on this page. Yeah, scapegoat. Um, just trying to get this into a sleeve. Um, yeah, this old stuff is expensive, um, especially if you, it's hard to find in good condition. There's a Freed, ultra rare. There's a Buster Blader, really cool guy from the tin. There's some other hollows there. I think that's it. Uh, this will be the last... Wait, this is the first page. So yeah, that's it for this collection. I paid $150 for it. I think it was a pretty good deal. Let me know what you guys think on... Um, did I ever pay for that? I feel like I didn't. I feel like just looking at these cards here... I mean, these are cool, man. I really like these cards. Um, first at LOB, first at MRD. That's always nice to have. Okay, so the next thing we're going to open up um, is this standard envelope. Here you go. Let's see what's in this one. I can hazard a guess. It's probably something from the movie pack that just came out. I bought a lot of those cards. This is, uh, yeah, I bought two of them. Oh, they're in. Oh. Two Dark Magician Girl. Dark Magician Girls. Let's see if they have the same problems at the top. They do. Dude, the, the cutting, the blade they used to cut these cards was just awful. You can see the damage on the top. This one's not that bad. This one's pretty good. Yeah. Actually, this one's good. The uh, the other two that I've gotten so far have had that edge problem. But, um, yeah. There's Dark Magician Girl from uh, the movie pack. Again, see, uh, it has the old school secret rare. The stars are not secret. Um, I mean, it's Dark Magician Girl. Who doesn't love Dark Magician Girl? Alright, next package. Um, I think I, I, I kind of made a mistake on this one. Um, going back, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I'm not really sure why. I just, I don't know. Um, it's just kind of impulsive. Uh, it wasn't really the right decision to make, but I went through with it. Um, I bought something else from them that's really expensive. So I bought this. It is a, um, Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's an Injection Fairy Lily. 
That's a first edition card right there. Now, maybe you'll notice what's slightly different about this injection fairy lily. Check out the centering. It's very, very nicely centered. Um, Legacy of Darkness has a really difficult time with centering. So many of the cards come out just horribly cut and horribly centered. Um, this one has good centering. Oh man, it is so close. I wish it didn't have that damage up there, but if it didn't have that damage up there, man, we were pretty close to a PSA 10. But I mean, I paid $50 for it. Uh, that's a little bit high, but then again, you know, the card is centered very well. Um, so it's a card I'm going to keep because I don't own one that has good centering. All the ones I have have terrible centering and I have like six or seven of them. So this is just for my own personal collection, if it'll focus. And it looks good in a binder because it's centered. So, again, you know, $50, not too good of a, uh, a purchase, but what can you do? Sometimes you make bad choices and you just go and follow through with them. It's not that bad of a choice, I mean... I'm sure the resale value on that card is, is, I can get at least 50 for that just because of the center. Um, last package we have is an opening. This is the Movie Pack Secret Edition. I really like this set. Um, I thought about buying a lot of this, but I only bought one box. I'm just going to open it on up. See what we get. I would love to get that blue eyes, not the uh, blue eyes alternative white. Of course, I would like to get that card. That card's worth some money. But if I had a card I wanted to pull myself to keep, it would be the blue eyes or the dark magician girl. So these comes with this uh, these promo packs. I'm not gonna open it. You all know what's in here. Probably an obelisk or something like that. We've got three packs to open. Three packs of the. Movie Pack Secret Edition. Alright guys, let's see what we can get out of these really cool cards. I really love the way these cards look. I might buy a box and just keep it just because, I mean, these cards look so cool. Well, some cards look cool. I really don't know what's in this set. Well, Dimension Reflectors in this set. This looks nice. Got Lemon Magician Girl. That's a really cool card to get. Um, it's Dark Magician Girl related. We got Blade... Garudia the Cubic Beast? God, that thing is foil as hell. Look at that damn thing. Gold Gadget and Metal Hold the Moving Blockade. These cards are super secret rare. They did not play around with the secret edition stuff. Alright, pack number two. We got a Lemon Magician Girl. That's kind of cool. Um, ooh, Dragon's Fighting Spirit. That's a really nice looking card. There's a blue eyes there on the front. We got a Crimson Nova the Dark Cubic Lord. We got a Clear Karibo. That's cool. There's a lot of Karibo variants. Oh my god. We got a damn blue eyes alternative white. Oh baby. Sorry about that. I tried to say oh baby, but then I tried to stop myself because um, you know I didn't want to just copy Simply Unlucky. You guys probably saw the next card. Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, same pack. That's a legendary pack right there. That's super cool, man. Wow, I like that. Wow, awesome pack. Um, definitely got our money back. I paid ten bucks for the box, but I still want to get the Dark Magician Girl or the Blue Eyes. Can we get those? In Induced Explosion, Dark Garnex the Cubic Beast. Dimension Mirage. Magician's Defense. Oh, wow, that's a really nice looking card, too. And Chocolate Magician Girl. So, unfortunately, we were not able to get the Blue Eyes or the uh, Dark Magician Girl. But we did get Blue Eyes Alternative White, which is a pretty expensive card. And also Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. And also the Lemon Magician Girl and Chocolate Magician Girl. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the um, collection opening and this Movie Pack Secret Edition opening. Probably wind up getting more because I really like the way um, this set looks. Um, so, sorry for the longer video. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.